one of the single most unique and useful features in the OS Forensics Toolkit is our Forensic Image Virtual Environment feature, also known as the Boot Virtual Machine Module. This feature automates the process of taking a forensic image, creating a virtual machine from it, and then booting this VM using your preferred virtual machine software. This allows you, the investigator, to virtually boot the target system and see the system and your evidence through the eyes of the user. It's not only an incredible way to view the system, analyze the desktop and its layout, and perform deeper analysis of software applications and certain proprietary files, but it's also the best way for presenting evidence in a court of law or to a non-technical audience. Finally, because the system is running in a protected virtual environment, there's absolutely no risk of compromising the evidence or the host system itself. When performing a forensics investigation on an image of a system drive, it may be necessary to recreate and examine the live environment of the system by booting the image in a virtual machine. By running a live system, the investigator can perform a live analysis of the image, allowing for the potential discovery of additional forensic artifacts that may not have been previously uncovered from a traditional static analysis. Some benefits to this approach include deeper analysis of the desktop, applications and files, viewing applications running in their native environment, for courtroom presentation, visual aids to non-technical audiences, and it also supports the additional disk images from multi-disk systems. Using OSF to accomplish this is beneficial in a wide variety of ways. It is basically a simple one-click type of operation. We support numerous image file formats like EO1, RAW, VMDKs, etc. There's no third-party imaging mounting software to purchase. This supports both Windows as well as Mac images. All disk writes within the VM are stored in a separate Delta write cache file preserving the integrity of the disk image file. You have the option of restoring the image from a previous boot using the image's Delta file as well as disable the automatic disk checkup on boot due to a dirty file system. In practical terms, this happens when Windows doesn't shut down properly, such as a sudden loss of power um, during a crash or an improper shutdown. So disabling this check ensures Windows will boot as normal into the chosen user account. And lastly, one of the biggest advantages is that we offer password bypass for most Windows systems. To get started, click on the Boot Virtual Machine module from the Start screen or the OS Forensics Workflow. Under the Create New VM tab, select an image file you wish to use. Remember this must be a Windows or Mac operating system image. If using a split image such as a split EO1 image format, simply point to the EO1 file and select it. OS Forensics will determine the operating system or systems if it's a dual boot or multi boot type of a system. If more than one bootable operating system is discovered, you can select which you choose to boot from. Next, you will need to choose your VM software. OS Forensics supports both VM Workstation and the open source VirtualBox by Oracle. Please note you will need to acquire and have one of these applications installed on your machine for this feature to work. Neither of these are not installed or part of the OS Forensics Toolkit. The highlighted section in this slide shows the user controlled settings. You can make any necessary changes or simply leave the default settings in place. This feature also allows you to add additional disk images to the virtual machine. For example, if you seized a workstation as evidence, and in addition to the operating system disk, 
There were also additional internal or external storage disks. You could add those images here in order to completely and accurately replicate that system in a virtual protected environment. In this last section of settings, you will have the option to disable the automatic disk checkup at startup, which can often occur when the system wasn't shut down properly. You can also choose to log in to the account automatically, therefore bypassing the need to know or enter the Windows user account password. You will need to specify the user account you wish to boot into. And finally, select whether you wish to save the virtual machine to your case. If you do choose to save the VM to your case, you will then be presented with this window where you will add details about the VM for your case report. After clicking Boot VM, the process is then initiated and everything is done automatically for the user behind the scenes. The log will display all operations as they are occurring in real time and can be reviewed upon completion of the process. Here's a look at a sample log. This particular log was from a partition-only image, like we discussed earlier. We see OS Forensics mount, or OSF mount, being used in the background to mount the image. We see how and where we bypassed the login page and enabled automatic login for the selected account. We can see the VM disk file, or the VMDK, being created. We see where it created and added an MBR image file in order to boot a partition-only image. We see the booting of the newly created VM using VirtualBox. We see the VM powering on and finally we see the entire operation was completed. Not bad for under one minute operation and a few clicks of your mouse. Just try imagine, imagining performing all of those processes manually or using a collection of different tools. You should now see the virtual machine in the VM dashboard tab in OS Forensics as shown here. Click the icon to open the VM window and view the machine as it's booting. The newly created VM is automatically booted by the hypervisor you selected. Here we see the selected user account was automatically booted and the password login screen was bypassed successfully. In this slide we see the automatic login feature working as it boots directly into the user account without needing to enter any bypass or password or without knowing the user's password. Once the booting process completes, you can view the desktop background, desktop layout, and begin to explore the system. But wait! Why is this better than my forensics report, you might be asking at this stage? Well, it's not necessarily, but rather it's an incredible supplement to your forensics report. You can bring your testimony to life with visual aids for a judge, jury, or attorneys. Keep in mind the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, is certainly true in this scenario. And there's no better way to present technical evidence to a non-technical audience than how it was seen through the eyes of your suspect in that native environment. So, let's look at some examples. You might look for any interesting applications running automatically. One of the many advantages to analyzing a system this way is that you can view much of the data and evidence in their native applications. It is also a very good way at helping to explain the artifacts you included in your report to a non-technical audience. So things like jump lists, prefetch files, MRUs, etc. might be confusing for those not involved in this type of work. But being able to provide a visual aid to judges, juries, clients, etc. is priceless. Here we see a great example of jump list artifacts, artifacts as we right click on applications pinned to the taskbar. In this example we can see recently played video files that had been played with the VLC media player. Here we can see 
most visited and recently closed web pages from the Chrome browser. In this example, we see frequently open folders in Windows Explorer. This slide shows how you can view and record recently opened Word documents. Opening web browsers can also provide valuable information and visuals. Here we can see numerous website tabs that were saved by the user to be opened each time the browser is launched. Opening Firefox, we can see information such as most frequented websites. Here's another good example of information you can typically only get by viewing the applications running in their native environment. In this example, we can see CCleaner settings and see several notable findings. We see it was set to run when the computer starts. We also can see that secure file deletion was enabled and that the program was set to wipe the free space of the system drive. Information like this might help explain why you're not able to recover much deleted data from a system. For those working peer-to-peer -peer investigations, you can use this method to acquire artifacts such as search term history from many peer-to-peer -peer applications. This data is typically no longer recovered using traditional computer forensics tools. You could also use this process to showcase files that were hidden by the user. By enabling Show Hidden Files and Folders from the Explorer Options menu, you can provide a great visual piece of evidence to show hidden files as we see in this example. The Boot VM feature is a great way to view recycle bin data in Explorer as you can see the original file names, path, and date deleted information. Here is another example of information you can get using this process that you wouldn't normally obtain to tr traditional forensic software. Here we can see a user specified image that had previously been set as the desktop background. Perhaps one of the biggest benefits to being able to view and analyze the system in a live environment is that you can analyze and search email and attachments in the native application, such as Outlook as shown here. Obtaining additional information and being able to perform deeper analysis of certain applications is just one of the benefits of this feature. However, you will need to find a way to capture and include these visuals in your case report. Thankfully, there are several feature-rich, free, and open-source screen capturing tools you can utilize to accomplish this. And thankfully, OS Forensics has the built-in functionality to work alongside them. Let's take a look at a few tools you can use to capture screenshots and even video evidence of the live virtual system. GreenShot and ShareX are two of the more popular free screen capturing solutions. For professional video capturing functionality, you might want to look at a tool by TechSmith called Camtasia. There is also the snipping tool included in your Windows installation for basic screen capturing needs. Snipping tool will soon be renamed to Snip and Sketch and will showcase additional features in a future Windows update. Also for those of you who will use VirtualBox as your VM software, Keep in mind there is a screenshotting feature built into that software. All of these solutions can help you record and report your evidence. Here is the VirtualBox website. You can download VirtualBox for free for use with our OS Forensics Boot VM feature by visiting their website 
virtualbox.org. Here's a look at the screenshot feature in VirtualBox. Simply click on the View tab and choose Take Screenshot. Here's the Greenshot website where you can download the software from. Just go to www.getgreenshot.org and click on the Download Now button. Greenshot runs in the system tray. Right-clicking on it brings up the capture options as seen here. Greenshot can also be configured to automatically copy screen captures to the clipboard. The great thing about that is that you can then add the screenshot you just took to your OS Forensics case with a single click of your mouse. Simply go to the Manage Case module in OS Forensics and click on Clipboard Data to paste the copied screenshot as a bookmarked artifact in your case. Upon clicking the Clipboard Data button, the New Case Item window appears and you can assign a title, category, and notes to the screenshot before adding it to the case. Another screen capture tool is ShareX. Here is the ShareX website to download the software application. Just go to getsharex.com and click on the download button. Once installed, ShareX will run in the system tray similar to GreenShot. There are many similarities between these two applications. You can use keyboard shortcuts and sh set ShareX to copy the screenshots automatically to the clipboard for one click adding to your case in OS Forensics, just like you can with GreenShot. ShareX, however, does offer a few more options, including screen recording. Right click on the ShareX icon in the system tray to bring up the options menu as we see here in this slide. 